Hey everybody, good Kyle here. Uh, this video is going to be a relatively short reply on uh, Ray Muzaka's, or however you say that, uh, rep uh, response uh, to the fans about the endings and just Mass Effect 3 as a whole. Uh, and uh, Ray Muzaka is a co-founder of Bioware, so uh, he has definite relevance to this topic. But uh, I've said it in a comment before, saying how he does not disprove the indoctrination theory. He just, like other PR stuff, he just says, uh, we're listening to feedback, blah, 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 and defends Mass Effect. Uh, well, the problem with that, in, in his reply, he says that he's not going to... Uh, use critical or like official critics review scores of Mass Effect 3 to defend uh, Mass, or the game itself but then a couple paragraphs later he does which is just completely stupid but touching upon that real quick you do not put um, gaming websites and just gaming places reviews ahead of your fan base I mean there is hundreds of gaming sites sure and they could give you glowing reviews but there are literally thousands as it stands right now and this is just based on the the the, the people that are outspoken that not the people who are just you know like sitting back in the shadows waiting for things to go on there are over a hundred thousand players according to the forums according to the retake mass effect movement and the donations that everyone has been hearing about there are over a hundred thousand players there or gamers complaining about the ending so they should always take priority over a critics review and I'll tell you why this is the whole point of making this video uh, some a very few of you should know I used to work for two gaming websites and one of them was rather popular I'm not gonna name them because of a conflict of interest I guess and p I can see people implying stuff that really isn't there so just take my word for it I we work for a semi popular website and I know how certain things go down um, one uh, almost every single uh, let me rephrase that, let me rephrase that. Um, there are good, honest, and in integrable... Is that a word? No, it doesn't matter. Integ or, there are good, honest sites that have integrity. There are. But there are three things people need to be aware of when it comes to reviews, which ties back into why you shouldn't always trust uh, critics' reviews. Uh, one, when a person is reviewing a game, and they are, like, you know, maybe the 10th or 20th to let out a review for a game, they look at all the other reviews coming in, and let's say they didn't have a very positive experience, uh, and they would give it a 5 out of 10. And you see these other reviewers giving it 9, 10 out of 10s, you're going to feel like you did something wrong, you're not really a good gamer or something, and so you'll kind of, you know, give it a better score based on just that alone. Uh, third, or second, sometimes if a person is the first to put out a review for a game, uh, they're not going to want to criticize it as much because it's, because this game could be such high profile, Mass Effect 3, it's just so anticipated, so wanted, that um, they're not going to want to say anything bad about it. They're going to want to give it glowing reviews, people are like, oh, yep, 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 they're right about this, and good, good, just for the sake of uh, not getting a negative feedback. Now, that's not always the case, as I'm saying. There are good, honest uh, websites out there with integrity. Um, and the third last reason not to trust gaming reviews over your own fans is... Uh, and yes, this does happen, and it's quite sad, and I hope it didn't happen in this case. But there are publishers out there that give games uh, early or... Most of the time it is free, but most of the time uh, they give games early to websites, but at a price. They have to uh, give this game a 9 or higher, no matter what they thought of it. That's the deal. And sadly, that can, or that does happen. So, uh, so if that, and I'm, again, I hope it's not true, but if that, that did happen, where EA gave a couple sites Mass Effect 3 early just for a good review, uh, pretty much Bioware is saying, oh, well, these reviews say Mass Effect 3 is good, and you fans are obviously deluded. That's pretty much the message I get garnered from Ray Muzaka's reply. So, uh, I hope this enlightens, like, something so we can finally get a clear answer on the ending. But, uh, everyone, thanks for watching, everybody, as usual.